Like how I be stepping. How I be stepping in Atlanta. Niggas wanna be me, be me. The king is me, 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 me. Nobody can stop me. Go around and box me. Hey guys, it's Base Kato, and I am back with another video. Hey, then I tell you, you can't go to sleep. And today, so I'm not gonna lie, if you've watched my last video, it was a get ready with me going to a restaurant. And yeah, this is the same night I'm coming back from this restaurant. It's called um, St. Cecilia, I think, in Atlanta. It's near Phipps Plaza in Lenox Mall. If I had to give the restaurant like a rating of you know, whatever out of five, I would probably give it a solid two. Damn. The service was phenomenal. The drinks were good, but the food, I did not like the food. So, and then my friend, she had some pasta and she said the pasta was too buttery. And I'm like, okay, if you're an Italian restaurant, like I feel like pasta should be your specialty, right? So that's already a one star knockoff in my opinion. Where's the flavor? Where's the flavor in this? If you want to go there, that's cool. If you like St. Cecilia's, then forget my opinion, still go there. But me personally, or you got to tell me what to order because I ordered the, I don't know, the Italian word for it. Um, ciao. Anyway, so. But I basically got swordfish. And if y'all know me, I eat a lot of fish. Um, I wouldn't say I'm pescatarian though because I do eat meat like I literally just ate a filet mignon earlier Oh, okay. How do you pronounce that? I just ate a filet mignon earlier because that's what I cook so I don't even know why I even ordered food at this place, but Yeah, so I normally eat that or like some fish which is like catfish shrimp salmon, but they didn't have like okay I'm used to any restaurant having salmon this restaurant did not have no salmon, y'all. So, they have flounder. I mean, I was thinking about getting flounder, but I was like, mm, I don't really like flounder like that. I mean, I grew up eating catfish and then like maybe flounder once in a blue moon, and I always just kind of like preferred catfish. But I ended up getting a swordfish, and I was thinking it was gonna be the whole body fish. You know how some restaurants have it where like you can see the whole fish, but it's like all cooked up and everything. And you just dig in. This was not the type of fish. This fish looked like a damn steak. Hey yo, what you grubbing on over here, son? No way. I was like, why is this fish? It was literally like this thick, y'all. Like I'm not even joking. So, like, I literally took a knife and was trying to, like, do it like a damn filet mignon. I was like, what did I order? Please don't play with me right now. And that fish, if you like swordfish, or if you ever had swordfish, you know swordfish has just, like, a completely different taste compared to salmon or catfish. I know a lot of people don't like salmon just because it's too fishy, but swordfish, it's just, like, on a whole nother level. Like I'm and I'm a fish lover. So for me to say I don't like a fish, that's bold. I mean that means something, you know, take my opinion into consideration. Ciao. Anyway, so but yeah, so St. Cecilia's two star, but maybe you guys need to tell me what to order. The drinks were good. So I am a little bit lit, y'all. <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to come on camera and just talk about a few things that I want to talk about, which is mainly life. Like, you know, that's the thing people always do. Once they get lit, they start talking about life and the sun and third. And, you know, that's what we finna do today. And you would do it too for a check. I did want to talk about life after college because life after college is kind of weird. Because you know how in college, which I may have mentioned this in one of my other videos, like my previous one when I was getting ready, but I'm going more in depth. You know how in college you always, or even in high school, middle school, elementary, literally from the moment you're born, you already have kind of like a routine set for you. Even in college, like you make your own routine, but I mean, you always have to have classes 
Monday through Friday. You're around like your peers and your peers are like working towards a common goal, which is graduating. Y'all are all dealing with the same stressors. That's how it is in school, but up until like once you graduate college and walk across that stage, it's like life does change in a way it's weird because after i graduated i remember feeling so what's the purpose of life at this point because i didn't have a routine i didn't know what to do with myself <laughs> of course like the first couple like week after graduation you know everybody's probably like let me sleep in yes it feels nice to not have like anything to like stress about because we've been stressing like our whole life and like yeah that's how it felt like the first week but then after a while i was just like okay like what's the next step you know like what what am i supposed to be working towards next which of course i knew was a job but i know some people they move back home so i guess for them they fall back into a routine with their parents or some sort of structure. Whereas me, I li stay living out on my own in Atlanta. I actually moved to the apartment that I'm in right now. And like, I know that's probably everybody's dream and I'm very grateful that I'm able to do that. But to do that, you definitely need to create your own routine. If you're someone who is about to graduate and stuff or maybe has just graduated but feels kind of like, what what's the next step the next step is just to form a routine for yourself whether that's for me it was like getting up early in the morning hey then i tell you you can't go to sleep i can't go to sleep at night you can't go to sleep none of that shit i didn't want to get into the habit of sleeping in so late because that's just like you know, as a grown adult like no grown adult really sleeps in like that and it's like still productive like some people definitely are don't get me wrong because some people have a night schedule so that's completely different but nine times out of ten if you're sleeping in it's kind of like what are you doing face on face 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 <laughs> the stock market is open at 9 30 a.m each eastern eastern time so think about that <laughs> well but if you do crypto then it don't matter but you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying like the world is already up why are you still asleep and i oh so the routine that i adopted was i would get up early like around seven like i would wake up at seven and maybe listen to like some manifestation music or whatever because i can't just like get up right away but then I ate, that's when I would get up, clean my apartment, and then after that, take a shower, and then, you know, go from there. I don't know, I, stu I stuck to that routine, like, still to this day, but I feel like that's something that has helped me as far as, like, getting used to life after college. And then another thing is that, you know how college, it's easier to make friends in college than it is outside of college. Now, mind you, I've never had a problem with meeting friends in general. But I will say for the average person, especially if you move somewhere else after college, I feel like it would be harder to meet friends unless you like use apps like Bumble and stuff, but I don't really suggest using Bumble because I don't know. I, it's always something weird with Bumble people. And I don't have Bumble. I just... I just know people who use Bumble and... Yeah. Ciao. Anyway, so... Anywho. Y'all, I'm lit right now. <laughs> but yeah, at, in college, like, you and all of your peers... First of all, they're, they're your peers. Like, you all have a... Share something common together, which is you go to the same school. So it's easier to make friends and you'll probably maintain those friendships like after college too. For some people, like for some people, it's just like not that. Like it doesn't work like that for them. And like for some people after college, they may move to a completely different city. And like when you move to a completely different city, I just feel like as an adult, it would be a little bit harder to make friends because it's harder. You don't really have a lot of common ground with people. That's why people gravitate towards their coworkers or colleagues at work. 
um, whenever they move somewhere else because like at the end of the day that's kind of like the only people they really know at this point I'm really goofy and like regular I don't like to be like hi guys so da -da -da -da. yeah that's the weird part about life um that was a weird topic I don't even know why I talked about that y'all I'm lit right now <laughs> I will say LinkedIn will become your best friend. I've found all of my jobs through LinkedIn. Mind you, um, I personally work in the finance industry, so it may be different for other people, but for me, yeah. LinkedIn so definitely get your LinkedIn profile up and make sure you have your settings set to like where you want to you're seeking a job that way recruiters will actually DM you I literally get DMs every day about jobs and I still reply to them like I love it or I don't want to say I love the job because at the end of the day I'm not trying to be at a job for like 30 years but um, the job that I'm at right now, I do enjoy working there. So I don't plan on leaving anytime soon unless someone offers me just like an insane amount of money. Then like, of course, I'm going to leave. Like, so who wouldn't? <laughs> and you would do it too for a check. Also, it's like when you get older, like once I graduated college, like not even once I graduated college, really once I turned 25, it's like... It's like the older I get, a lot of things that would bother me back when I was in college or school, it's like nowadays, th that type of thing just wouldn't bother me. He went to an urgent care around here. They told me I had a clip video one time. Like, for example, in my last video, I talked about failing. That would not bother me at this age because that just means I know what's wrong and it's leading me closer to the right answer or the right thing that I should be doing. Blah, blah, blah. Like once you turn 25, it's like you just don't care anymore. You don't care what people think about you. Bro, I'm really about the GTO pit bikini. Because it's a lot of things that I've wanted to do, like after college, like between college and now. But I've been too, I hate to admit it, but I guess too scared to do or I would talk myself out because I feel like I couldn't do it. But it's just like, why am I doing that to myself? Like, that's stupid. Like, you look more stupid by saying you're gonna do something and not do it than doing something and maybe it doesn't succeed as much as you thought it would. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've gotten into this mood where it's just like, you know what, I don't care what people think about me, which that's how it should be. That That's my name, Base Kato. Base means you don't care what people think about you. You do what you wanna do that makes you happy, you know? so. I feel like I've been holding myself back for so long. Like, I feel like I've been holding myself back because of, like, my friends, people on the internet that I, that I really don't know that aren't really, like, my friends, my family. Like, like how I be stepping, how I be stepping in Atlanta. Niggas wanna be me, be me. The king is me, 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 me. Nobody can stop me. Go around boxing. I would not be doing that around my family. Like, <laughs> you might see me air puzzle still if I ain't around my family. Damn. Like, that's why they they think I'm 16 when it's like, now I'm 25. I'm 25, man. Catch me in Atlanta, you'll see. And I, oh. Life is just too short. Like, lately, I've been losing a lot of people in my family, and it's kind of just like, mm, I've been thinking to myself lately, and it's just like, life is just too short to not just go ahead and, like, do what you want to do. And I feel like right now is, like, the perfect time to try. Even if it fails, at least you tried and you, you're okay. Like, some stuff you just can't be doing once you're, like, married, have kids, or, you know, whatever. Life, you know? So, you, you have to, you have to take that risk. So, that's what I've been learning lately. It's just taking risks, not caring what people think. And honestly, I don't care what people think at this point in my life, because it's, it's over. <laughs> I'm doing what I want to do because at the end of the day, I know what I want. And the things that I want, it's like, I gotta like 
switch things up. I got to do something. Like, for example, I keep saying it all the time, but I know I want an AMG. Like, I know I want a new car. I know I want a townhome. Like, I want all that. And all of that costs money. So, you can manifest all you want. I definitely manifest all the time. I believe in that stuff. But you also have to, like, actually take action and actually work towards getting those things. Because they're not just going to fall in your lap by you just praying. Hear me, I stay automatic. Money add then multiply. I call it math for math. You can do that, but you got to put in work, you know, do something different. So that's how I've been thinking lately. I've been like really planning things out, but you can plan all day. You can plan all year. But the one thing I've learned too is nothing will ever be perfect. It's okay to just start. Like I'm still learning that, like I'm still learning that I need to just start with whatever I'm working on because nothing's going to be perfect. Like, I want things to be perfect. Uh, dang, I can't talk. Y'all, I'm lit right now. <laughs> I want things to be perfect so bad, but it's just like life is not perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect, and it never will be perfect. Life is going to give you some blows. Like, and honestly those blows like when i was younger of course it would hit me and my blows ain't like nothing nearly like don't think i went through nothing crazy because i lived a good life i'm just saying like mentally the little blows that i would get it's kind of like dang like i really take it to heart but now that i'm a little bit older it's kind of like man you gotta take them blows and keep it pushing because life is gonna pass by like life is not gonna stop Hey, bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your jet. You got to keep going, you know? You can't get stuck. You cannot get stuck. I don't like being complacent. Being complacent is not good. It's always room for self-improvement. That's what I keep learning. I'm learning more about myself. Like, it's so true when doctors and stuff say that, like, your brain isn't fully developed until the age of 25 because it's true. Like, I swear... Like I said, a lot of things that would phase me back then do not phase me now. So if things are phasing you, like for example, men. Bro, I'm really about to get your pickle chin out, boy. If you're in a relationship and you guys are always arguing, girl, it is not worth it. It is not worth it. Like, maybe me, I, my standards are really high when it comes to a man. So I don't tolerate a lot, so I'm at peace a lot. But I have done some crazy stuff, I guess, but... And you would do it too for a check. That was when I was younger. So, like I said, stuff back then, when I was younger, it's just like those things would not phase me now. I remember when I was younger, I wanted to be in a relationship so bad. Now, I'm just like... I'm good. I don't need to be in a relationship. I, like, because at the end of the day, these men are draining. I need someone that actually adds value to my life. And honestly, I don't want to need anyone. And I don't want that person to need me. I just want them to want me to be around them. You know what I'm saying? But we still live our separate lives, but come together. That That's just how I am. I need my space, okay? And a lot of people don't understand that. Please don't play with me right now. Don't rush into a relationship. I mean, I know some people are married by 25. That's cool. But you'll know when it's right. And you'll know when it's not right. So don't rush into anything. Another thing that I've realized, like, life after college is that investing or not even investing, but just, like, diversifying your money it's just like you have to do that like you have to diversify your money to like survive out here because you need your money to grow like your income from your job these days is just not enough like me i'm a financial advisor pretty much or that that's what i was in my last role 
kind of what I am in this role. We will always talk about diversification. Me, now that I'm a little bit older, I'm understanding investing and stuff more, like how important that is. Like you need to be investing in stocks. You need to be investing in mutual funds. You need to be investing in crypto. I like all three. I, me personally, I prefer crypto, but I do understand diversifying your money into stocks and mutual funds exchange traded funds are just as good um because you just never know also you need to have cash on you just to have and also like put your money in a Roth IRA because that money is after tax money so when you take it out you don't have to pay taxes on it put your money in like stake your crypto coins so you can get more passive income i didn't even do that ciao anyway so you just really need to diversify your funds and not only that but diversify what you're doing like me i'm learning now that like a lot of people in their 20s don't just have one job like a lot of people in their 20s have a job like what i had private banking but then at night may do something on the side or on the weekend may do like Instacart or something. Like they have another gig that they do or another business that they run on the side hoping that that business will like make them millions so they can quit. It's rare to see someone, I don't wanna say it's rare, but for me it's more common. The, okay, so the lifestyle that I want to live, that I desire, Whenever I meet people who are actually living that lifestyle, they always do more than just one thing. They they have a business, they have something, like they don't just have one job and that's it. So that's something that I'm learning. So it's like, I'm learning that like in your 20s, you can't really be lazy. Hey, then I tell you, you can't go to sleep. I can't go to sleep at night, you can't go to sleep. None of that shit. Cause I've been kind of lazy, like, I, or I, feel like I've been lazy because I haven't really gotten anywhere. I don't want to say I haven't gotten anywhere. I'm at a good point in life, but I know in order to get to the point that I really want to be at, I need to put in the work and I just haven't done that. So I'm learning now that in your 20s, you just can't be lazy. Like to get the life that you really want. I mean, some people are lucky, but to get the life that you really want, like Sometimes you have to, you really do have to step out of your comfort zone. In your 20s, you'll find yourself stepping out of your comfort zone a lot of times. But those steps will be the best steps you've ever taken because it's going to get you to where you actually desire to be. That's what I'm learning. Like right now with my rent going up, I feel like this is just the universe pushing me towards going to getting my townhouse because I really want a townhome. But in order to get a townhome, I just need to up my income. So like I can afford a townhome, don't get me wrong, but it's just like, damn, I don't want to be living paycheck to paycheck. Like I want to have enough money to like do other stuff, right? I'm also learning in your 20s that you need to be careful who you surround yourself around because there's people you'll meet that will literally bring you up and then there's people that you'll meet that will want to tear you down so bad. And it's like you really got to be stronger than them in their energy and sense that shit before it actually happens. You just don't want that around you because there's some people, like when you're in your 20s, like you know how like when you're a child, a teen and stuff, if you get in trouble, especially with the cops, they just call your parents. You have some sort of shield around you, you know, to where you, you can only get in to so much trouble. Let me explain something to you. Yeah. I don't care about you, your kids want when you walk in here, say good morning like we said to you. Oh, okay. But the penalty can only be but so high because you're a child. But it's like once you're actually an adult, things get very serious. You need to be careful who you hang around because some people will literally get you in trouble. Like they will purposely get you in trouble. Either that or they're the type of people that always cause trouble. And you don't want to be around that because not only is that dangerous meaning you can go to jail but you can also like risk your life Damn. yeah just be careful and also like certain people you you just don't want want to feed into certain energy like you know how some 
people you're around, all they do is either talk about other people, they talk about the latest gossip or drama, like. <laughs> Once you get to a point in life where you're really trying to build yourself, build your brand, build yourself to the next level in life, you really just can't take those type of conversations anymore. Oh, Crazy. It's live. We the champions. You heard Michael it. Jackson. <laughs> I noticed that I've like distanced myself from a lot of people and also like from my friends. Now my friends like. You know, they my homies, don't get me wrong, but once you get into that mode of where it's like, damn, I need to put in the work, you really do distance yourself, but it's kind of a good thing, because I think you need that to really just get into that mindset, you know? So I feel like that's where I'm in, that's where I'm at in life right now. I feel like I'm about to take a huge leap forward to where I really want to be at, like, I know where I want to be at, you guys. Like, I talk about it all the time on my TikTok. I dream about it. I can, like, feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's coming. So, I just need to connect the dots. That's kind of, like, another reason why I'm filming this video because... Well, I can see. I don't know why. But <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. I just wanted to talk about life. But anyways, y'all, this video is, like, about 30 minutes at least for editing wise it may not be that long once y'all view it but hey hopefully you guys enjoy watching this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye